What is happening loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So we are actually in the shop again working on the second gen Longhorn project. What should we name the truck? I really don't have a name for it and I've just kind of just been calling it like the second gen Longhorn project because I'm trying to make it look like a Longhorn from 95 but I don't have an actual name for it. But let's get into this. We're going to be attempting to put this new four inch exhaust. I think it's a four inch. might be a five but I don't know. I think it's a brand new four inch exhaust system for the truck. So we're going to get to put Putting this in, but look at this right in here. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna actually have an exhaust system versus what we have on it right now, which I wouldn't call it an exhaust system, more just like somewhere for the exhaust to shoot directly under the truck. It's really not exiting anywhere like it's supposed to be. It's just kind of like dumping right underneath the truck. So we're gonna get to putting this exhaust system in, and we're also gonna be trying to put a new tip on the end of the exhaust and i think this exhaust tip should work this is one that was actually on the obs i believe i don't even know what this was on but it was on one of the trucks that we had and we've just had it sitting around for a long time now and i'm like you know what what the heck we'll just put that tip on this truck when we get the exhaust system on just because whatever we got it lying around might as well use it so anyways let's get into it we're going to unbox this get this hood propped up and start to install this exhaust system because we need an actual exhaust system on this truck. Because right now, it's just it's just too much to deal with driving this down the road. Install mode starts now. Okay, so we got the entire exhaust system installed. It took a little bit longer than I thought, but not too bad. It took me about 45 minutes start to finish, which isn't horrible. But we've got one last thing that we've got to add to it, and that is our exhaust tip. I know some guys love exhaust tips, some guys don't care for exhaust tips, but I love an exhaust tip on one of my trucks. A little added look and also a little added sound. And other than that, this is the final touch for the day. And that's it. And that will be the last part of the day. Look at that. We gotta start it up, of course. We can't end it on that note. There's where the tip sticks out right there. A Little bit more than I would like it to, but I'm not gonna be cutting any more of the exhaust off quite yet because I'm not sure, obviously, what exact exhaust tip setup we're gonna go with permanently, so I just kinda put that on there for now. But let's get this hood closed as much as it will close, and then let's get this truck fired up after we open the door up. And if it's loud out there, it's because it's pouring rain. And also, I forgot, I've been working on this truck with the doors open for two days now, so I hope this thing starts up. Well, this would be a test of the batteries right here. Kind of expected that a little bit. I didn't even think about it until I turned on the camera to do the startup. The doors have been open the last two days since I've been doing all that stitching with the headliner and the um, door handles, you know, the hand grabs in there and all that kind of stuff. The door's been open and the lights have been on, on the, in the cab. So now we got to jump start the truck. But I've also got to go because I have to go to a Halloween party that I'm supposed to be at in 30 minutes. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this right now, but I will try to get to it. First thing tomorrow and still get the video up on the same day that I'm planning on. So thank you guys so much. Stay tuned. I'll be back in a bit. Good morning and how's everybody doing? So we are back in the shop, like I said, next morning with the 12 valve right here. However, he is dead as a doornail. So we're gonna have to jump start this truck and I actually went to start Rosine and I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, this is another truck that we hardly run, but maybe once a week. And I'm like, I'm just so nervous that since we don't run her very long each week that her batteries are probably dead and um, she's dead too. So we're gonna have to start up the wifey's little truck here, the little fourth gen. Nothing little about this truck, but we're gonna be starting that up, getting this truck jump started, and then we're gonna be getting her truck jump started. You know, it's not just a Dodge thing for all the Ford and Chevy guys out there. I get it looks bad right now. This truck, I had the doors open for two days. Yes, I'm making excuses, but I'm trying to make them, you know, excusable, okay? So 
this truck had the doors open for two days with the interior lights on. Reagan's like, you know that truck's not gonna start up. I'm like, crap, I didn't even think about that. So anyways, that's why this one's dead. And then hers just doesn't get ran much and it's starting to get really cold each night in the 30s. So I just knew that if that truck sat for a week in the 30s at night, it's gonna be dead. So anyways, we're gonna get these trucks fired up here and hopefully we can get on with this exhaust note on this truck right here. I know this one's gonna start up. Well, we did end up getting the truck started. Silly me, when I was trying to jump start, I had it on the jumper cables for like 10 minutes, and I'm just like leaning in, turning the key. I'm like, ah, oh, it's not starting. Still dead, still dead, still dead. I'm like, dang it, I'm gonna have to go buy brand new batteries. The batteries are probably old. Well, I forgot you have to put the clutch in for the manual to start it. So, felt kind of stupid, but anyways, the batteries were dead, because I did do that last night with the clutch in. It was still just toast just this morning when I was trying to jump start it, and I kept testing to see if it was charged up. I just had a complete blank. But anyway, so we're actually over at the property right now at my parents' farm. We just checked some trail cam pictures, got some nice pictures of some bucks coming through here. No newcomers yet. All pretty much just regulars of the property that have been around for the last couple months, as it is. But we do have the exhaust in on the truck. You guys know that now. And we're gonna get up here to the barn and I'm gonna show you guys around it just a little bit. It sounds pretty good. We got one small mirror. We got one tow mirror. We're gonna take her nice and slow. Who remembers this spot right here? If you remember the location, comment down below. Let's get you guys a little start up. Remember, you guys just have a few hours left to get your entries in to win this truck. Just imagine waking up and being able to hop in this thing every single day. I mean, just think about it. Or, selling the truck putting money down and waking up in your dream house every day. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. But you've only got today to get those entries in. One last glance at the truck. I actually just took this thing down the road and it did not rub at all. I had it two rotations in the wheel, still didn't rub. So I'm actually thoroughly surprised. The truck does not even have a leveling kit on it, which I think might actually help with it not rubbing. And that might sound kind of weird because you're thinking, well, if you give it more height, want to clear more tire? Well, yes and no. The reason why I think it might be helping is because when you lift it up, it just, it doesn't need help up front. But then it takes away from back here because you're lifting it higher, but your upper and lower control arms, your factor ones don't get any longer, which means the fender just moves closer to the tire, therefore making it rub a little bit if you go much bigger tire than 33. But right now it rides good, clears good needs new shocks and stuff, and we're gonna be doing a whole different suspension setup. But for those of you wondering, these are 20 by 12 Anthems. Go check them out. Anthem wheels, they are 33 by 1250. I think they're RPB tires. 
And then the exhaust system is just the four inch straight pipe from the turbo back to a seven inch tip. It's either seven or six inch. It might just be a six inch tip. It's a good little setup for now. It works in terms of the exhaust. We're probably gonna keep that set up. But let me show you something else that I put under the hood here. Some of you are gonna like it, some of you are gonna hate it. But whether you like it or hate it, it happened anyway. Show you what we got there. Filter on the turbo. And I know it's not one of those that like you're supposed to technically use. However, I don't really have any other options right now. I don't have any use filters or any other filters to really use um, for that application. And that's not permanent anyways. That's like a temporary thing. It's not like I'm driving this truck a lot. I'm gonna drive it like once in a while. I'm not putting thousands of miles on an air filter setup like that. But anyways, for now, we do have that problem solved on there. So we're at least not pulling in like any kind of debris or dirt or anything like that because I do read the comments and I do take note. I took note, got something put on there to fix that problem. Anyways guys, thank you so much. Do not forget, every $5 is two entries to win that beautiful black dually I just showed you out there and that truck could be yours. Just think about it. $5 coffee or that $5 sandwich you're gonna go buy at a fast food restaurant. Just think about how $5 could change your life in a matter of a few days. Thank you guys so much. Everything you guys need to know to enter is down in the description below and on the website. Every $5, two inches to win. That beautiful 2019 Ram 3500. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.